May 7th, 2022, T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol. Good fighter, but he's a man and... Dimitri Bivol, undefeated, current WBA champion of the world. I believe in my skills and when I come to the ring, I, I believe in my victory. Against the pound for pound king of boxing, Sal Canelo Alvarez. You know, I'm, when I work hard and do my, my best in the, in the ring and make a good fight for, for the fans. Can you feel the tension in the air? the anticipation building with every punch? Get ready to witness Bivol's colossal hits that left spectators in wonder. How did he channel such incredible force? And what was the reaction when those hits connected? Imagine the power of the explosions and the strategic accuracy. Now, it's time to experience the action blow by blow. Are you ready to see the gigantic force that made everyone stand up? Let's step into the ring and feel the pressure. The impending clash between Canelo and Bivol was no ordinary contest. The geopolitical landscape was cast into the equation, triggered by the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. In this confusion, the boxing community's governing bodies paused championship fights involving Russian and Belarusian boxers. Yet, against this backdrop, the WBA stood firm, allowing the Canelo Bivol bout to proceed. A testament to the unifying power of sports even in the face of geopolitical tensions. The story begins with Canelo's triumphant ascent as the undisputed super middleweight champion, which left fans and pundits eager to see his next move. Rumors buzzed about him aiming for a fifth division challenge, with his trainer Eddie Reynoso exploring options like the WBC Cruiserweight Championship against Ilunga Makabu. But fate had plans, and Makubu's mandatory title defense against Dabizom Chunu took precedence. However, a new chapter unfurled when it was revealed on February 25, 2022 that Canelo had penned a two-fight agreement with Matchroom Boxing. And so, the stage was set for his grand return to the light heavyweight division where he was set to take on the formidable Dimitri Bivol. It wasn't just any fight, it was poised to be the inaugural pay-per-view event by the sports streaming service DAZN in the United States and Canada. Can you imagine the intensity of the clash between two boxing giants like Canelo and Bivol, each bringing their unyielding spirit to the ring? Let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Dimitri Bivo, a force to be reckoned with, has carved his path through the light heavyweight ranks. His journey began in 2016 when he claimed the WBA interim title in his seventh position bout. The journey gained momentum culminating in his ascension to the full WBA world title in 2017 and earning the prestigious super champion status in 2019. Against Canelo, Bivol stood poised for his fourth defense of the WBA Super title and ninth world title defense overall. Yet, this bout held a unique backdrop. The 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine prompted several of boxing's governing bodies to halt championship fights involving Russian and Belarusian boxers. In this landscape, the World Boxing Association WBA, stood as an exception, allowing the fight between Canelo and Bivol. It was a rare instance where the roar of competition transcended geopolitical tensions. The Battle of the Titans unfolded in a blaze of determination and grit. The clash showcased the unyielding spirit of both fighters and brought the world of boxing to a standstill. 
while only one could emerge as the victor, the legacy created on that canvas reverberates through the annals of the sport, forever etching Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol in the history books as a monumental showdown of skill, courage, and legacy. The fight's dynamics and Bivol's strategy were a sight to behold. Throughout the rounds, Bivol demonstrated his skill through well-executed combinations and precise power punches. Canelo, while frustrated, respected his opponent's prowess, acknowledging Bivol's effective in-and-out style. The experience of facing Bivol's strength left an indelible mark on Canelo's boxing journey, a testament to the unforgiving yet captivating nature of the sport. Round 1 as the bell rings, signaling the beginning of the fight, the energy in the arena is electrifying. Alvarez wastes no time, charging forward and unleashing his signature punches. Bivol, however, remains composed and defensively adept, using a high guard to deflect Alvarez's assault. The tension in the crowd grows tangible as spectators recognize the explosive potential of the clash between these two boxing giants. He finds a way around the guards. He had a little difficult time with Caleb Plant. He finally found a right hop. Round two. In the second round, both Alvarez and Bivol cautiously approach the fight, almost like a strategic chess match. Each movement is a calculated step. A deliberate assessment of the opponent's strategy. A brief moment of tension arises when a head clash occurs, emphasizing the high stakes and intense focus of the fighters. The audience sees the intensity that fuels every movement and decision. And Danny, we talk about Canelo having such great power. Is this more power than Bivol's? Round 3. Bivol begins to find his rhythm in the third round. He employs a series of right-left combinations that guide Alvarez towards the rope. However, Alvarez remains undeterred, landing a solid left hook that earns Bivol's respect. The back-and-forth action captures the attention of the spectators, who are drawn into the dynamic interplay of skill and determination. Canelo, like we're seeing. Nice uppercut lands right there, looking for an opening. This is what Canelo does well. When he, when he can't find something going on on the left side, he comes around the guard. Bivol coming back, not loading up on shots, keeping that range as well. Round four. The fourth round sees Bivol's offensive skill take center stage. A powerful right hand, followed by a swift combination, tests Alvarez's defenses. Pinned against the ropes, Alvarez demonstrates his resilience, weathering the storm and refusing to back down. In a breathtaking twist, Alvarez retaliates with a stunning right uppercut, showcasing his unbreakable spirit and determination. There's that big right uppercut that landed by Canelo Alvarez, but was it enough to sway the judges? People did some good work in that round, both men did. Round five. Bivol's precision becomes evident in the fifth round as he executes a mesmerizing right-left-right combination. The crowd and fighters share a palpable energy, fully aware of the moment's gravity. Alvarez's gestures and body language challenge Bivol, adding extra tension to the proceedings. The fight reaches a crescendo as both competitors display their skill and grit. So this is the good shot that I was talking about, the onslaught that Bivol had. He was able to let his hands go, punches and bunches, getting past Canelo guard. And even though Canelo is normally slippy on the, on the road. Round 6. The narrative takes a significant turn on the sixth round. Bivol seizes an opening and lands a lightning-fast left hook that catches Alvarez off guard. The quickness of the strike underscores Bivol's readiness to exploit even the smallest opportunities. Alvarez finds himself cornered and subjected to Bivol's rapid left-right combinations. Bivol's calculated approach leaves the crowd and Alvarez stunned, highlighting the precision and strategic insight that defines the bout. Bivol throwing that jab to the chest. Jab to the chin, but look at the intelligent punching right there, not falling off balance. Mid-fight tragedy. As the mid-fight rounds unfold, 
Bivol's mastery of combinations continue to shine. His movements around the ring are graceful and mysterious, allowing him to avoid Alvarez's attempts while delivering his own calculated strikes. Alvarez's frustration becomes evident as he struggles to find openings against Bivol's elusive defense. The mounting drama in the ring intensifies, captivating both the audience and the fighters themselves. Trying to find an open, coming around the guard, but look, that's what Bevel does so effective. Catch Second, and counter. Out. It's real quiet, but he's a technician in there. Round 10. The championship rounds approach their climax, and Alvarez's determination reaches new heights in the 10th round. He pushes forward with urgency, recognizing the need to shift the momentum in his favor. However, Bivol remains resolute, showcasing his defense skills and thwarting Alvarez's attempts at resurgence. The audience witnesses firsthand Alvarez's unyielding spirit, even in the face of Bivol's masterful tactics. Round 11 the 11th round delivers a pivotal moment that encapsulates the essence of the entire fight. Bivol's powerful left hook lands with resonating impact, momentarily halting the action and showcasing his ability to seize crucial moments. The ensuing exchange between the two fighters exemplifies the central theme of the contest. Moments of brilliance met with unwavering resilience. The give and take between Alvarez and Bivol underscores the true heart of boxing. So here's Bivol chasing down Canelo who got underneath and went on a little bit of a ride. That could have been really bad. Final round. In the climactic final round, Alvarez enters the ring with a sense of urgency, needing the remarkable turnaround to secure victory. He launches a flurry of attacks, displaying his unyielding determination. However, Bivol's counterpunching artistry shines through, weathering Alvarez's storm and maintaining his composure. Bivol's ability to absorb and strategically respond to Alvarez's assault secures his victory. The crowd is on the edge of their seats, completely absorbed by the spectacle of the final moments. Most of people think about him like he's uh, un, uh, untouchable or he's unstoppable or he has uh, enough power to beat s super heavyweights. Uh, sometimes it's, it's funny. Lessons from defeat. The judges' unanimous decision in favor of Bivol reverberates through the arena. Alvarez's response encapsulates his sportsmanship. He concedes, acknowledging Bivol's prowess and the unforgiving nature of boxing. Regardless of allegiance, the crowd applauds the display of humility and resilience, reminding that victory and defeat shape the sport's core. The ongoing journey. I have a power, but uh, I didn't uh, use it every time. I don't use it every time. If I see I, I could uh, punch harder, I use my power. But sometimes, uh, but most of most of the fight, I like to more boxing and uh, uh, looking for to use my skills and looking for to uh, hit the big punch. I know a lot of fighters do a lot of uh, visualization uh, for their fights. Yeah, sometimes we uh, sometimes I do it, but not too much. It's not from one round, from first round uh, until 12. No, just sometimes some combinations uh, I do, and I think, oh, I can use it in the fight, or just just like that. As the camera zooms out, 
the story of this intense bout remains etched in the annals of boxing history. The story of two warriors, each leaving a piece of themselves in the ring, lingers in the mind of those watching. The audience is left inspired by the journey, knowing that sportsmanship, determination, and the artistry of the fight transcend the final bell. As the final bell rings, the legacy of Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol is a testament to the resilience, skill, and unyielding spirit that defines the essence of boxing. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then. Yeah, so he's a, you know, he's, he's a great fighter. He comes in out, in and out. He really manages his, his distance really well. Felt like uh, maybe did enough to win the fight. Well, that's, that's boxing. You have a rematch clause. Do you want to do this again? Claro que sí. Claro que sí. Esto no se queda así.